when you're young, you feel like you don't need to warm up. Everything works beautifully. As you get old, like us, things start to hurt a bit more. So at some point in your life, for others, for some earlier than others, um, you'll find the need to warm up your hands before you start to play. Now, I've got a little bit of a quick one for you here. If you're short of time and you think, oh my goodness, I've got to just quickly warm my hands up playing perhaps in a cold church or somewhere. Um, there's a very handy one here. It says a left hand warm up. What I do is I put my fingers all together so that they're just semitones apart. Like mm -hmm. that, yeah. do you want to have a go? Lovely. Perfect. Then I'm going to create a tone between my third and fourth finger. Right. That's it. I'm then going to move that tone to between the second and the third finger. So that's right. It's good for the brain as yeah. well. This. Yes, I'm um, thinking there. Did you yes. get that processing buffering <laughs> I can time? I hear it going. <laughs> um, then you make the tone between the first and the second finger. Um, yep. That's it. Yep. Then you add in an extra one at the top between three and four. Now it's no, got a sorry. semitone in the middle, so... <laughs> that's it. And then move that semitone between the two and the three up a bit. So you've got a tone, a tone, and then a semitone. Mm -hmm. Then add an extra one at the top again. Oh my goodness. That's yeah. it. So we've got... Yeah, I'm not going to try that. Okay. No. <laughs> but I have to say, warming up, if you are in a cold church, it's really good actually idea. what we want is the, that your whole body temperature is a little bit warmed up and you're a bit relaxed. So it's always good, you know, to do a little bit of jog on the spot, shake your arms out, roll your shoulders, arms up, you know, just try and get as much movement and as much, um, like an athlete would, you know, you're not going to go cold with, with, with having not got your actually your um, yeah. pulse up a little bit. So just even jogging on the spot will help that. You have to be really careful. You, you won't feel like you're going to get injured until you actually are. And then you'll realise actually how careful you have to be with mm. tendons and, and muscles. Um, and you can also help yourself by wearing little fingerless gloves. Sometimes um, you can have those little hand warmers. You can get the mm. skiers use uh, that they put inside their gloves and their socks. Hot water bottle often comes in handy Hot in a frozen bottle. church. Yeah, yes, so absolutely. <laughs> so try and be as warmed up as you can before you start to play. Another good one is um, when you're tuning up, particularly if you're playing a solo. Supposing you're going in to play an audition for somebody mm -hmm. and you walk into the room, you've never been in there before, you don't know what it's going to sound like, you haven't tuned to the piano, it's all a bit... Ooh. A really great idea is to use your moment of tuning your violin to test the sound of the hall. It's almost like warming up your ears, this bit. So when the piano plays the A, rather than doing your Morse code, this yep. kind of thing, you're going to go... Yeah, listen how the sound travels around the room. Yeah, use it as a moment to do big long strokes. If you're feeling a little bit nervous, a little bit shaky, this is gonna really help. Breathe deeply. It sounds a little bit kind of yoga, uh, but it's a really no, good point. It will, it will keep your good heart point. rate lower. It will stop you feeling quite so shaky when you play. So remember, you're warming up your muscles, but you're warming, warming up your brain and your ears as well. Um, use all those moments that you can before you ever start playing. Make sure you're A1 prepared, ready to go.